Although this was a time when up-tempo songs were in popular demand, Lee did not sway from her own slow-tempo singing style. It was as if she was telling her audience, the singing style is what makes me Lee Wiley. For the next 10 years or so after returning to New York, Lee continued to work at her own comfortable pace. In the 1950s, her career suddenly enjoyed a resurgence. Night in Manhattan, arguably her best album, became a huge hit. Then in 1956, the critically acclaimed West of the Moon was released. The album contained, as time goes by, the song that had captivated Nobuko's heart. In 1972, a legend was born. At the premier jazz event, the Newport Jazz Festival, a recital featuring Lee was held at Carnegie Hall. The audience in the packed hall gave Lee a standing ovation, recognizing her as one of the greatest female vocalists of America. This, however, marked her last stage performance. Lee never sang in front of an audience again. Back in New York City, Nabucco drove up to the place where she and Barbara had promised each other to meet. Some old friends of Lee Wiley had decided to seize the opportunity afforded by Nabucco's stay in New York to get together again after a lapse of many years. At the party, Barbara introduced Nabucco to a wonderful friend of hers. This was George Ween a giant in the world of jazz, the entrepreneur behind the legendary New York Jazz Festival, and the very person who had produced that last Lee Wiley recital at Carnegie Hall. Perhaps Barbara will sing a song and I'll play for her. And, but I remember Lee Wiley very well. And she was a beautiful woman, like you are a beautiful woman. I am this She understands that. <laughs> <laughs> the night was like the Carnegie Hall recital all over again. Sing, I've got a crush on you. Okay. Okay. I'll never forget one day, I was many, many years ago, and I was playing in a bar, and a woman comes up to me and says, I've got a crush on you. <laughs> and I, I was so confused. I mean, that never happened to me. I didn't realize she was asking for a request of a song. How glad the Lee herself must have spent many nights like this with her friends. I feel that Lee is right here with us, somewhere around here. Will, will Nabucco sing? That would be wonderful. As time goes by? <laughs> yes. Uh, well, yes, why not? Nobuko is a bit nervous at being accompanied by George Ween, who had also played the accompaniment for Lee at one time. I kiss sister, I kiss, I sigh, just a sigh. Asked to sing on the spot, the flustered Nobuko forgot her lyrics. Simple, you act it out. You, you just act it out. You know what I mean? You must remember this. I kiss it, I kiss. I sigh. Just a sign. 
They still say I love you On that you can rely No matter what the future brings As time goes by Moonlight and love songs Never out of day Jealousy and hate Woman is man And man must have his mate That no one can deny It's still the same old story Of fight for love and glory A case of do or die I did it. I actually sang. I don't know what to tell you, but but you know, you you just you know how to express yourself. If you can be truthful and truly express yourself in a song, that's what I really value and appreciate. That's what Lee Wiley did. That night, Nobuko was convinced that she had come face to face with the memory of the singer of her dreams, Lee Wiley. Lee Wiley passed away in 1975 at the age of 67. Her final resting place is in her hometown of Fort Gibson, Oklahoma. Nobuko has come to meet someone who will show her around Fort Gibson. This is Sue Harris, the director of the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame. Nobuko had contacted the organization from Japan in advance, certain that a music hall of fame would have much to tell about Lee's childhood. Surprisingly, the people of her hometown had not been aware that Lee Wiley was born and raised in Fort Gibson. Nobuko's inquiries from Japan aroused interest among the staff at the Hall of Fame who began looking into Lee's past. Gradually, they began began to find things about Lee's childhood. For Nobuko, one of the purposes of her journey was to stand where Lee would have stood to look at the scenery that would have been familiar to her. She would have listened to the sounds of the river or of that railroad. Naturally, she might also have done some thinking or singing. She might even have wept here when she lost her love or found herself some hope. <laughs> mm. 